Hello guys, I moved back to Norway and I'm currently living in this uh, old nice, nice house. It's uh, really filmatic, so I thought I would make a new video in this room. Some of you may have seen the music video I filmed using only the Nokia Lumia 920. I was really surprised how good the camera on this phone was, especially how good it handles low light conditions. When I uploaded the film, some of you guys commented that I should also test the Nokia 808 because it may actually have a better video camera. So I managed to borrow it. This is the Nokia 808. It's a little bit older than the Nokia Lumia 920, uh, but it has a really exciting camera. It is 41 megapixel sensor, which is just crazy. <laughs> uh, and it has a color size lens, just as the Nokia Lumia 920. And it also has um, full, HD, full HD video capture with a lot of nice features. Uh, in this video, you will see now, I will test these two cameras and see which, which camera that is best suitable for filming and also test if it's actually possible to uh, make a cinematic film using these phones. So, I hope you enjoy the video. So, first let's look at the Nokia 808. It has a car size lens, as you can see, with 41 megapixel sensor. When you are filming, you can choose between different settings. You can choose automatic, or you can choose different presets, depending on what you want to film. Or you can push the creative button and make your own presets. You can choose the quality of the video. I'll choose full HD. You can choose the frame rate. You can choose different effects, like black and white. And you can adjust the colors. And also the contrast. And this is something I missed on the Nokia Lumia 920. I think that the default setting for the contrast is too high, because if you have a lower contrast, it's easier to color grade afterwards. You can also change the sharpness. In the settings, you can turn on and off other features, like helping lines and focus light, and also video stabilizing. You can turn on and off the light. You can choose to underexpose or overexpose. And you can see how much light you get here. And this is the white balance. And you can also choose to film with continuous autofocus or just manual focus. If you press the screen, you can lock the focus wherever you want. To record, you can press the button on the top. Or the button on the screen. Now you can see the continuous autofocus is on. On the Nokia Lumia 920 you don't have the same amount of settings. You can change the white balance, the continuous focus on and off, or change the quality of the video. That's mainly it. When you press the screen you start recording. You can also use the button on the top. So, let's look at some footage shot with the Nokia Lumia 920. This footage is shot with the Nokia 808. As you can see, the contrast is not that high. I lowered it down to make a more film look. You also get more details in the shadows and in the highlights. You can also see that the Nokia 808 has a more shallow depth of field. This is another example to test the contrast. As you can see, it's much more details in the shadows. You could turn down the contrast in post-production, but then you will lose some quality. If you zoom in on the shadows, you can see how much grain you will get if you lower the contrast on a Nokia Lumia 920 in post-production. So, let's test the microphones.
expliquen lo que yo voy a ver. Ah. Oye. I wanted to see which phone that captured the best video in low light. So together with Eskil and some friends, we tried to make a scene in the dark forest using working lamps as the only light source. We're now deep in a Norwegian forest in the middle of the night. <laughs> yes, we are. Not really. We're actually in a Hollywood studio. Uh, this snow, for example, is uh, artificial and highly poisonous. Uh, looks good. To try to make it as filmatic as possible, I used a slider from camera.com to make a nice movement to the shot. For this night scene, I used a white umbrella to soften the light and make it more realistic. Oh, go. As you may see, the camera compresses the video quite much. That's the downside with the Nokia 808. Actually, when filming full HD with the two different phones, the files on the Lumia 920 is twice as big, since it doesn't compress the video that much. But still, the Nokia 808 produces some really nice and filmatic video. And now with the Nokia Lumia 920, let's see. As you can see, the high contrast on the Lumia 920 kills all the details in the shadows. And also, you can't choose the focus distance. But the video is not that much compressed, and that's a big plus. So, let's test the autofocus. The problem with not having manual focus is the lack of creating nice cinematic shots. In this shot, I had to move the camera a bit to make the hand in focus. The manual focus in the Nokia 808 made this shot much easier. Regarding the macro on the two cameras, this is the closest you can focus on an object with a Nokia 808. With the Lumia 920, you can get even closer. Here you can see the test we made with the stabilizers, and I think the Lumia 920 won this easily.
So what about using the camera for something else rather than just movie making? For example birthday parties. Then the Nokia 808 is great. It can zoom without losing quality because of the big sensor. Unfortunately, you can't zoom while recording with the Lumia 920. You have to do it before you start recording. And if you zoom, the quality is not that good. Another great thing with the Nokia 808, which I have to mention, is taking photos. The images are crystal sharp and truly amazing. So, as a conclusion, I think both of the cameras are really great, but if you are more into filmmaking and you want to experiment with the filming, you should go for the Nokia 808, because it has more features and also more manual settings. But if you just want to have a really nice camera, you can go for the Nokia Lumia 920. It has a better image stabilizer, and also it doesn't compress the video that much. It also has Windows 8, so that's a big plus. Again, thanks for watching. In the next video, I will test some really nice and cheap film rigs, like the slider you saw in this video. So just stay tuned. I see you soon. Bye bye. Go to my channel to watch my short films or tutorials, or go to my friend Eskel's page to watch his great films. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay tuned with all of our new videos.